Meantime, UC Davis engineers are now developing critical tools for health care workers. The spread of the coronavirus is creating a major shortage in hospitals. In case our three's Brian Hickey is joining to explain uh, what these engineers are making now to help fight this pandemic. Brian. Yeah, and this story fascinated me right from the word go because they're using 3D printing, which is what I'm doing right here in my home office right now, printing little uh, holders for my cell phone. And this is a 3D printer, and this could be the answer to a critical supply need for different things, different parts for ventilators, uh, masks for uh, doctors and healthcare workers to use. This is why they're doing it at UC Davis. They're using advanced manufacturing techniques. Again, 3D These printing are the latest and, um, iteration. Other devices that they're using to basically design and make parts. They say that they're right now working on doing a 3D printed alternative to the N95 mask, which we know has been in short supply. They're also working with UC Davis Health, the doctors, to come up with parts for the ventilators. They're trying to identify what fails first and if they can print those parts and have them readily available. The other thing they're doing is looking at some of the supplies that are already in the hospital and readily available and seeing how they can repurpose those by making parts or adapters for them. These are the latest iteration of um, a, a coupler that is designed to um, interface some commercially available objects um, with these really um, these filters that are available um, within the hospital setting. And I just want to give you another look at how a 3D printer works. It basically takes a filament, a, a plastic string essentially, and puts it into something kind of like a hot glue gun. And then it just starts printing it layer by layer by layer. And then eventually you end up with a piece. Again, well, that is part. really, really cool. Brian, we're having a tough time with your uh, microphone again. Again, we're social distancing. It's just some of the fallout from that. that. But Brian, love that. I mean, it's really, really cool. Um, I think we might be able to hear you a little bit better right now. Yeah, I, I don't know every time I pick it up, it does that. But yeah, I just wanted you guys to see how the whole 3D printing process process works and when it's all done you end up with a piece like this an, an actual 3d part and um, again they're using this and what's really cool is what whatever they design at UC Davis if they come up with a functional part they can then basically email that file to anybody around the world and anyone with a printer can then replicate that part and they're also part of a consortium around the world of other people that are doing just the same thing answering the challenges that COVID-19 has presented boy it's crazy we're creating tomorrow today kind of that's awesome thank you Brian yeah. love that